All right, welcome everyone to the final session of the day. I really appreciate the speakers and the audience for sticking, sticking in there so far. Uh, I hope this was a useful and also informative day for you so far. Uh, now here's the moment you've been waiting for. Um, we got Andy Burns uh, who, from Micron Ventures. He's gonna tell us about the startup pitch event that a number of the leading semiconductor semiconductor companies has been working on together. And then uh, also later we will have Anand uh, Kamanavar, who's the global head of Applied Ventures to uh, make the closing remark. So Andy, please. Yeah, great. Thanks so much, John. Um, yeah, and thanks everybody for, for patience and your endurance. Um, these Zoom, Zoom conferences are a journey always. Um, but yeah, and, and we've been on a journey ourselves um and john and i have been on that journey together for for going on like 10 months now um so so just a little bit of history for, for me um so about 18 months ago um uh our team the micron ventures um we got we got pulled into some internal projects um looking at micron's uh sustainability transition and right as you can see at the top of this as we talked about earlier in the day a lot of this is being driven by uh, the like some of our bigger customers um, across this uh, across um, yeah our, our our end user base uh, companies like Facebook, Google, Amazon, um, really pushing on uh, sustainable supply chains, and and that has created this like this sense this additional sense of urgency that we talked about in the earlier panels. Um, Micron is looking at it internally um and uh and aggressively across our operations uh, across the you know across energy water emissions recycling um how can we how can we increase the the environmental sustainability of our of our operations to to uh both like hit our customer targets um but also to to be better global corporate citizens um and um and we got we got pulled in to say hey you know, you guys mind looking for startups uh, that that are that are building something new um, and compelling that might not be on our radar from from either internally our internal innovation sources or with like our traditional suppliers in the industry, um, folks that can help us uh, accelerate this transition. Um, and so, so last year, uh, 2020, um, we we our team, Micron Ventures, we went out and we talked to over 200 startups uh, across the sustainability ecosystem um and, and across those different pillars and um lots of great conversations um met lot you know tons of innovation out there but really we, we identified two two pretty consistent trends um when we were talking to these to these uh like startups um and the investors uh backing them one again um investors and the startups they viewed semiconductor as a niche market which is interesting and humbling um, because collectively, I think I think now semiconductor is regarded as a six hundred billion dollar a year industry. Um, so it's a very large market. Uh, but I guess as an application space for a single customer to go out, um, there wasn't enough uh, impetus to get over that uh, barrier to entry. Which is the second the second the second trend that we found. Um, again, the technology barriers to entry um, are high. Um, one of the previous speakers mentioned mentioned a grand grand challenges. Um, yeah, bringing new bringing new innovations into semiconductor operations and manufacturing, that's a grand challenge. Um, and uh, and we recognize that. And so what we needed to do, what well, we put our heads together and we thought, how can how can we how can we solve these two problems to really help startups and new technologies um, both like figure out how to productize and fit inside of semiconductor and how to scale them faster. And, and the result of that effort is, is as John announced, um, we're actually putting together, I, we think it's the first, it's the first time ever, um, like a, a consortium of, of leading entities across the semiconductor ecosystem are getting together um, to collectively go out and, and uh, with this call to arms to, to talk to, to startups building new sustainability technologies um, and, and saying, we want to work with you um, at, at regardless of your stage. Um, and so together, Micron, Intel Capital, uh, Applied, uh, LAM, M Ventures, Merck, um, and ASML. Uh, we're going to be kicking this off in about two weeks. And as John mentioned, uh, we're envisioning this is this is coming together as a uh, as a, as a pitch event. Um, 
right, pretty standard where where we're going to be putting out this call for applicants, um, and then we'll be adding some some twists uh, to that program that I'll talk about on the next slide. Um, and then we'll we'll have we'll we'll maintain these three verticals. Um, and and again, we're 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 excited to get applications from from anybody, uh, regardless of stage. You know, this can this can be late stage companies that we that we work with today um, who have new innovations that you, you maybe you maybe consider too early to bring to our attention. We'd love to see them uh, all the way down to you know pre startups. You know, folks working in a lab uh, with an innovation that that they think is compelling, but again, they're not sure yet how to bring it into semiconductor. Um, and and we'd love to see those as well. Um, <clears throat> The three categories of startups that we're that we're going to be that we're going to be looking for um, are listed here. Uh, first one is energy efficiency. Um, we had we had a long debate: renewable energy versus energy efficiency. Um, for for this for this effort, uh, we're going to be looking for technologies that improve the efficiency of manufacturing operations, um, and it can be hardware or software. I'd actually encourage uh, pure digital companies um, to to apply to this category as well. And again, this is going from from tool level all the way to fab, all the way to fleets of fabs, and all the way to to supply chains, um, technologies and new products that can enable energy efficiency um, across those 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 different pieces of of our industry. Uh, the second bucket is water. Um, uh, it's it you know energy efficiency of water of water capture technologies um, is is a big place. Um, and, but also, but also, we're interested in how can how can new technologies fit and integrate with existing manufacturing uh, operations and footprints. Um, that that's something that you know, when we went out or last year, that there was a mismatch, um, and we're looking to explore that mismatch more with with new technologies uh, to and encourage them to to collaborate with us to to productize for semiconductor. And and the third one is uh, material use and uh, the. The last panel we, we talked about, um, like alternative chemistries, we're really interested in, in, in folks pushing the boundaries there um, for for bringing in alternative alternative chemistries on wafer processing, uh, but also down to material cycling, right? Like talking about the scarcity of of the periodic table. Um, it's it's new technologies that are that are addressing those issues, um, and uh, and that that where there's an appetite to scale into semiconductor and and hopefully today we've kind of convinced the community here that there is a large appetite uh, on our side to adopt these technologies in the near term. Um, and, and this is how it's gonna it's it's how it's gonna go. Um, again, we're gonna we're gonna have you know a few weeks where folks can apply um, <clears throat> to to the website that we're gonna be this is gonna be hosted by semi.org. Um, and we'll be we'll be we'll be um, sharing the URL um, hopefully uh, next week um, with with interested folks, and then opening up uh, the week after. Um, and and so that'll be a few weeks. And then we have this middle section, which which I actually think is one of the most exciting ones, and in, in hopefully like one of the innovative things that we're we're bringing um, as we as we prototype this effort. Um, and and the concept here is to take this uh, a, a smaller group. Of, of semifinalists um, and pair them with folks from inside of our orgs um, to to serve as advisors, right? And the type of advice that that we envision providing is how do you productize and go to market? You have this technology today, and you and there's a gap between understanding or capability or scale or what have you of how do you bring it from today to to scale inside of semiconductors. And so our, our thesis here is that by connecting these early stage entities with internal experts um, and, and coaching them on, on productization strategies and technology roadmaps, um, it'll give them like a higher probability of success uh, when, when selling to semiconductor folks. Um, and then finally, we'll, we'll, we'll skull that list down to, to three finalists per, per those buckets. Um, and then we'll have, we'll have a, a final event. Um, it's, it's a pitch, competi pitch competition. Um, with with VC judges like myself and John, um, but we'll but we'll also be um, you know announcing announcing finalists um, at Semicon West, 
um, providing like bigger PR exposure. But the most important thing is is going to be um, getting access to the to the technology teams inside of our orgs and getting visibility for for new technologies that are looking to ramp inside of semiconductor. Um, right. And again, it's increasing visibility, sharing, sharing opportunities across the industry to be able to solve like really important challenges faster uh, and bigger. And we're, we're excited to kick this off. It's been a lot of work uh, over the last couple months with the team. Um, and yeah, we're excited to we're excited to hear from from you. And we encourage you to apply, uh, I encourage you to reach out to John and myself um, with with any questions as we're leading up to this. And yeah, we're we're excited to hear from you and, and help scale your innovations in semiconductor. Um, that's it. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Andy. Uh, for the audience, we will be able to send out the um, uh, uh, submission website and web page web addresses uh, to you by email. So stay tuned. And uh, last but not least, uh, let's welcome Anand uh, Kamanavar, Global Head of Applied Ventures, uh, to give us the closing remarks. Hi, I'm Anand Kamanavar, the Global Head of Applied Ventures. First of all, thank you everyone who joined the forum today. We had uh, today close to 500 registrations for this event uh, at such a short notice, which shows a strong interest in the sector. Collectively, we had people both from the semiconductor industry, the materials organizations, and also people uh, working on climate change who were um, provided very critical uh, feedback today, right? So what you heard today uh, was the following, right? So we had uh, Ajit Manocha uh, who kicked off the, the event today, but what Ajit was very clear is the time is now. The time to, to pontificate, uh, argue is over. We either take the action or we get left behind, right? Uh, Intel was very clear. Intel has been a pioneer in the, in the semiconductor industry over the past few decades, um, uh, both from FAB perspective to um, the chips power, the, some of the biggest data centers in the world. And they have been very clear that they want to uh, conserve around 4 billion kilowatt hour by 2020-30, right? So, and uh, Chris and uh, Nasreen at Applied uh, talked very clearly about how the semiconductor industry is well positioned to answer this challenge by working together, right? It's not about one company or one organization or one component that needs to get better, right? Collectively, we need to uh, uh, get that, right? And also as, uh, the, the teams from ST Micro and Micron talked about, right? It is about climate change. The time is now, and we need to uh, and we need to respond. Or we need to actually accelerate, right? So anything, whatever the overarching theme has been from the speakers and sessions today is that we need the industry to come together, customer partners, competitors to answer the call. And today we did see a lot of customers and partners and corporates alike come together to answer this call, right? So collectively, we can all innovate to have greener technology in semiconductor manufacturing, right? We have solved much uh, tougher problems, but the problem in front of uh, us is, uh, is uh, fairly challenging, but we do have the opportunity to use the innovations and the experience we have to solve these problems, right? So sustainability is no longer an aspiration. I see that it's an absolute requirement and we as an industry cannot uh, live without it. And uh, I'm glad to see everyone come together to make this happen. Um, as I mentioned, I head Applied Ventures. Um, uh, Applied Ventures has been investing over the last two decades. We were investing in ESG before it was fashionable, and we have continued to invest through the ups and downs of this sector uh, today. A uh, few of my venture colleagues talked about the history of uh, investing in this space and the challenges, and we have lived through through this, um, uh, and we have a very successful track record of packing companies that have been working on lowering energy and material consumption. Like, you know, uh, just recently, uh, Impria uh, was acquired by GSR at a half a billion plus exit, but we have been investing in companies like Impria, Voltex, and the material stack to all the way to Sintiant, right, which is reducing uh, power consumption at the edge, right? So, applied ventures, we have been investing in this whole materials to system stack globally for the uh, past two decades 
Till date, we have invested in over 90 plus countries, uh, 90 plus companies in 16 countries, uh, and we have a solid track record of investing as well as building partnerships with the parents and other players uh, in the ecosystem. Uh, in addition to the ESG space, uh, we are also investing in the broader semi display. Uh, but some of the themes today are, are very interrelated, right? Can you use AI and machine learning algorithms to uh, reduce energy consumption? Can we look at MEMS and sensors to, um, uh, to reduce energy consumption, whether it's at the equipment stage or whether it's an end device like uh, uh, Sintiant, right? Uh, we have invested in industrial 4.0 companies like 3D printing that drastically reduces the, uh, through additive manufacturing, the amount of materials that are uh, used. And similarly, photonics and optics, right? Uh, we are looking at how can we reduce the computation from the current uh, 10, 20, 30 picojoules per per bit to get to um, sub uh, picojoules per bit uh, kind of a consumption. So in each of these, we are going through this in a very, very thoughtful uh, fashion and uh, backing uh, innovative companies globally uh, around the same. Uh, Applied is a key partner for driving green manufacturing. Like I talked about how we invest in the broader materials to system stack. So it's not just uh, if there is innovation related to equipment, uh, obviously that's our bread and butter, but across the value chain, we are investing, right? So I do welcome startups, VCs and R&D organizations to come partner with Applied. We are looking for greener manufacturing solutions across the semiconductor display and pharma uh, uh, sectors, right? So Applied as a company is, um, thinking above and beyond uh, and using how we can use materials engineering to uh, to advance the greener manufacturing across multiple sectors, right? And uh, like I said, applied interest in sustainability is not new. We have been doing this for the last few decades and will continue to do so. So I hope you really enjoyed this event because we're going to have more ESG and VC um, events uh, coming up um, uh, over a period of time as well. And lastly, but most importantly, a big thank you from all of us here. Uh, I would like to thank the speakers, audience, media, the planning team uh, that actually made it happen. A special call out to John and Andrew um, who uh, work with uh, coordinating the various uh, teams to make this happen, right? I think collectively we'll make this happen and, uh, and we are going to do this as an annual event and hope to see you next year, hopefully in person. Thanks uh, everyone.